Hello everybody, let me talk to you guys about sedation with animals. Now we trained this specific wolf to accept the needle to be sedated voluntarily. A very cool thing to train actually. Now what we've done first is get into the position. So as you can see our setup, we could ask the animal to lay in between the log and the fence. We do this from the left to the right and from the right to the left. Then we train that needle plus the duration. Now the thing is, is that I want to put the needle in, I want to wait, and then I want to put the needle out. To afterwards put some very clean salt water in there which I now spray into that muscle. Because that gives a specific sensation to the animal, exactly what the product does for the sedation. So that's what we did as well, but then you see in the video when I am asking the wolf to lie down, I'm showing the needle and I say, now I'm going to do it. I spray the substance in its hip. It responds, I actually should have reinforced right there, but I was a bit late. So what did I do instead? I asked him to come back in a lineup, then used a needle with the cap still on it. I pressed and I reinforced that to solve my problem. Those little problem solving situations are helping your future very much. Then there's one more detail which we often forget and that is an animal's actually not allowed to eat in that training session to be sedated because they can puke this up. So what did we do? We used a specific juice with blood and meat juice all together as a reinforcer. But we had to train this to the wolf itself. So as you can see, we spray it and then we reinforce right after to then use it in the full situation of the actual sedation procedure. Now that's kind of how we did it. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye.